In the 1830s and 40s, Rochester was one of the fastest growing cities in the country. Through their varied talents, Rochester's African Americans made important contributions to the city's economic development during those years. When William Bloss, editor of The Rights of Man, surveyed Rochester's African American residents in 1834, he counted 360 people of color, about 3% of the total population. Most were employed as farmers, boatmen, barbers, waiters, and seamstresses. There were many skilled workers as well, including five blacksmiths, two shoemakers, masons, clergymen, and stonecutters. There was a tailor, a cabinet maker, a merchant, and a physician, Dr. John Jenkins, who served the medical needs of Rochester's African-American community from 1844 until 1852. With Rochester growing so quickly, skilled construction workers and craftsmen were in demand. Many African-American men found work making wooden staves that were fashioned into barrels. Barrels carried valuable commodities, such as the wheat flour produced by Rochester's many mills and shipped to eastern markets via the Erie Canal. The availability of fine white flour spurred the creation of fancy baked goods in Rochester kitchens. Mrs. Matilda A. Bell is listed as a professional cake maker in 1847 and 48. Other African-American women, including Mrs. Zada B. Hunt, Mrs. Sarah Reed, and Mrs. Eliza Sherman, used their skills as dressmakers in the 1830s and 1840s. These same citizens also made valuable contributions to the social fabric of the community. African Americans supported three religious societies, two anti-slavery groups, and a temperance organization that opposed the habitual abuse of alcohol and public drunkenness. Music